lift your voice and begin to pray. Consecrate the month, every day of the month. Consecrate, consacre le 6, le 7, le 8, le 9, le 10, le 11, le 12. Chaque lundi, chaque mardi, chaque mercredi, chaque jeudi, chaque vendredi, chaque samedi, chaque dimanche. Consacre tes nuits, consacre tes réveils, consacre everything that you do. Les mâts de glace, ton arma de gémasso. Rekema brada la copna pare di abaraz. El lua u de stohan de glemar ni a kadesh. Oh baskete, come on lift your voice, lift your voice, lift your voice. Lift your voice again, lift your voice. Consecrate the month. Anything you are planning, your exams, consecrate them. Your projects, consecrate them. Parapada la base que de Je suis dans la joie lorsque tu m'appelles en ce lieu. I declare and decree 
those that look down on you shall be shocked to see you stand above them. I declare and decree, whosoever cursed your studies will experience the reflection of their own curse. I declare it is back to sender. I was saying it is back to sender. I repeat, it is back to sender. I declare and decree, in this month, you shall experience the grace to finish. There are many things you started, but may God give you the grace to finish what you started. Whatever project, whatever plan, whatever business, tout démarche que tu as commencé, reçois la grâce des finisseurs. Reçois la grâce des finisseurs. Reçois la grâce de ceux qui terminent. Receive the grace to complete what you started. You started a fasting program. May God give you the strength to finish it. You started a prayer program. May God give you the grace to finish it. As we are rounding up the first semester of this year, may you round up your assignment in the precious most powerful name of Jesus. Can we give God a clap offering as we celebrate? Hallelujah. Amen. Someone say Pentecost. Again, Pentecost. You do know that tomorrow is Pentecost, right? And Pentecost is simply the symbol of the coming of the Spirit. Hallelujah. It is the symbol of the indwelling and the enveloping of the Spirit. I was teaching on Tuesday and I explained that when the Spirit comes in you, that is what we call the indwelling of the Holy Ghost. That will build your character. But when the Spirit comes on you, that is what we call the overflow of the Spirit. That will give you gifts. Amen. Le Saint-Esprit en toi te donne le fruit de l'Esprit. Le Saint-Esprit sur toi manifeste les dons de l'Esprit. Alléluia. And Pentecost was not a time for character but gifts. Alléluia. It is in John chapter 20 that the disciples received the Holy Spirit. But it is in Acts chapter 2 that the, Holy, the, 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 the disciples were filled and overflowed with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. In John chapter 20, nobody spoke in tongues. Personne n'a parlé en langue. In John chapter 20, nobody prophesied. No miracles were done when they received the Spirit. Because that had to do with the indwelling of the Spirit. But at Pentecost, the Bible says the Spirit came under the form of fire. Someone say fire. And when the Spirit came down in that form, the disciples received gifts. My prayer for you in this Pentecost weekend is that you may overflow in the gifts of the Spirit. As much as you grow in the character of the Spirit, may you also grow in the characteristic of the Spirit. My prayer for you is as much as you look like the Holy Ghost in your character, may you look like the Holy Ghost in your abilities. I pray that God may open your spirit to the gifts. The gifts, someone say the gifts. Whether it is vision, discernment, interpretation of tongues, speaking in tongues, healing, power, prophecy, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, whatever gift exists in the realm of the spirit, even those that have not been mentioned in your Bible, may God channel them unto your life. May you become an institution for the church where the church learns that there were gifts that were not mentioned. Oh, 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 oh. I am praying in this Pentecost weekend that you may receive gifts. Someone say gifts. Amen. So the message I will give today, it's a Pentecost message, but it's not in the New Testament. Hallelujah. And tomorrow, le Saint-Esprit m'a dit, demain, nous allons danser pour lui. Hallelujah. He m'a dit, tomorrow, all I want is for you to sing and dance for me, and I will manifest myself. 
So tomorrow I'm not preaching. Tomorrow we're not praying much. We are praising and we are celebrating the Holy Ghost. And we shall see what he will do in our midst. Can you help me go in your Bible? 1 Samuel chapter 21, verse 10 to 13. The title of my message is The Cave of Adulam. La Caverne d'Adulam. Amen. 1 Samuel 21, verse 10 to 13. And then we shall take 1 Samuel 22, verse 1 to 4. Can you help me read? One Samuel twenty one ten. I read in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. So David escaped from Saul and went to King Ashish of Gath. But the officers of Ashish were unhappy about his being there. Mm. Isn't it this David, the king of the land? They asked. Is he the one the people honor with dances, singing? Saul has killed his thousand, and David his ten thousand. Mm. David heard these comments and was very afraid of what King Ashish of Gath might do to him. So he pretended to be insane, scratching on those and drawing down his beard. Watch this, watch this. The Bible says David was running away from who? Saul. In running away from Saul, he went to the king called Akish. And when he gets to Akish, Akish was the king of Gath. Amen. I spoke to you about God last, last, a few weeks ago. When he gets there, the king and the people begin to mock him. They say, isn't this the king of the land? That we used to sing and say, Saul killed a thousand, David killed 10,000. I've come to speak to someone about a time when your reputation is put into question. When your success is now put back into question. When the glory of your life begins to look like it has disappeared. Someone say Adulam. Say Adulam. And the Bible says when David heard this, he began to act like a madman. Continue, Mama. <laughs> so he pretended to be insane. He scratched, pretended to be insane. Scratching on those and drawing down his beard. Finally, King Akish said to his men, Must you bring me a madman? We already have enough of them around here. Amen. Stop Why should there. I let... Stop there. Take the next chapter, verse 1 to 4. Please be attentive to the word. 1 Samuel 21, 22, verse 1 to 4. 1 Samuel 22, verse 1 to 4. I read in the name of Jesus. Amen. So David left Gath and escaped to the cave of Adulam. Soon his brothers and all his other relatives joined him there. Then others began coming, men who were in trouble or in debt, or who were just disconnected until David was the captain of about 400 men. If you have your Bible, please underline men who were in trouble or in debt. Underline that. Continue, please. Later, David went to Mizbeh, in Moab, where he asked the king, please allow my father and mother to live here with you until I know what God is going to do Until for me. I know what God is going to do for, do for me. Say it again. Until I know what God is going to do for me. Continue. So, David's parents stayed in Moab with the king during the entire time David was living in his stronghold. Amen. May God bless his word. You may have your seat. As you have your seat, may you sit in glory, name of Jesus. Amen. J'aimerais vous rassurer d'une chose. You know, as you are here, there are people that treat your case in the kingdom of darkness. You know that? They don't have another job than to destroy your job. They don't have another life than to destroy your life. They don't have another focus than to destroy your focus. Hallelujah. And then there are men and women that God has rose up or raised up to pray for you. 
these people don't have another life than to protect your life. They don't have another business than to pray for your business. They don't have another interest than to pray for favor upon your interests. I'm talking about me. Amen. I was saying I'm talking about me. As you sit here, I might not know your name, but I know your case. I know your case. And when we come in this place, we don't come to play. We come to manifest what God has told us in the secret place. We will never hold a service in Meprek if we did not hold a service in front of God. Ah, ta façon de m'écouter me fait peur. I was saying I will never hold a service in this house if I've not held the identical service in the presence of God. Amen. So you can be sure that right now you are only experiencing a replica, a rediffusion, a rebroadcast of what God has already planned there. Amen. And no life will remain untouched by God. Someone say Adulam. Say Adulam. I also would like to remind you this is not a this is not a, an old age home. Amen. Ce n'est pas l'hospice de vieillard, hein? Amen. Is there anyone here that is over 50? You can lift your hand. Thank you. So we are all young. So as being young, revived people, please follow the message as a spirit, not as a man. If you listen to this message as a man, you've already missed the message. If you listen to it as a spirit, you'll be able to grasp what God planned for you. One more time, please help me say Adulam. So this is what the Bible is saying and this is what my message is about. My message is about David in the cave of Adulam. Amen. The Bible says one day David was running away from Saul. And there is a message that I will be releasing on YouTube once I'm back on social media. And that message is called, it's in French, it's called the vulnerabilities of King David. A man is not true to you if that man has not showed you his vulnerabilities. Hello? A woman is not true to you if that woman has not showed you her vulnerabilities. Amen. When you go on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is, people have the tendency to show you their strength, their beauty, how they look when they've put up makeup, how they look when they receive their graduation certificate, how they look on their day of marriage, but they will not show you how they look the day they fought in the morning. They will not show you how they look the day they did not have food to eat. They will not show you the way they looked when they were scared and troubled and confused and depressed and oppressed. They don't show that. Hallelujah. And for you to know a real king, you must see your king in the point of his vulnerability. Hallelujah. Jésus est devenu vulnérable à la croix pour te montrer qu'il était vrai. Amen. Jesus was vulnerable on the cross. You grow up to know your parents, but there will be a time where you will see your parents in a certain vulnerability. Amen. That is not for you to mock them. It's for you to know that is real. And King David, the thing I like about this king is that the Bible does not just speak about his high peaks. The Bible talks a lot about the vulnerabilities of David. I'd like to know by a show of hands how many people have ever been vulnerable even once in your life. You've ever felt like you are exposed, like you are scared, like you, come on, don't be fake, be true with me. If you've ever been vulnerable, amen. I'd like to give you a good news. Even the greatest of men, they know vulnerabilities. And a part of a crossover is to be vulnerable. Hallelujah. J'aimerais le dire en français rapidement. Il n'y a aucune traversée sans vulnérabilité. Tu ne vas jamais aller d'un état à un autre si tu n'as jamais été vulnérable. La vulnérabilité, c'est la perte de la peau de l'ancien homme pour rentrer dans une nouvelle peau. 
La vulnérabilité, c'est la perte des anciens appuis pour avoir des nouveaux appuis. Alléluia. Vulnerability is you losing every pillar you used to have to get a new pillar. It's you losing the people you used to count on to get new people to count on. It's you losing the things you knew for things you don't know. If you do not know vulnerability, you are not moving in life. Every time a man leaves one level to another level, there will be a state of transition called vulnerability. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Paul, when he was still so and became poor, he became blind. And for about three days, the man who wrote one third of the New Testament was blind. He did not eat, he did not drink, he had nobody. He was in a city where they could kill him. Because Paul was a persecutor of the church. Hallelujah. C'était un persécuteur de l'église. Et maintenant il était aveugle. Au milieu des gens qu'il persécutait autrefois. Vous imaginez l'humilité. Alléluia. Say God, be with me in my vulnerability. Come on, pray with me again. Say Jesus, Jesus, walk with me in my vulnerabilities. So King David is running away from Saul. Saul wants to kill David. Before Saul was a person who admired David, but at this point, the admiration has disappeared because there is a grace upon David's life that is not upon Saul's life. Know that there will be times when the same people who used to celebrate you will reduce their clapping, not because they hate you, but because they're confused about the grace upon your life. The grace that can give you a position can also make you lose a position sometimes. Uh, I was trying to talk to someone. The Bible says that Mary and Joseph did not find space in a hotel. Why? The pregnancy she carried had a lot of gossip around it. Uh, if they believed that, that that child was truly the savior they would give her the best house but what she carried made her lose a place say Adula so there are times in your life when the grace that you've received woman of God the prophecies we put upon your life begin to make people doubt I'm sensing a strong anointing here. There is an, an offering that you made recently together. Hmm? Did you? As a couple, an offering that you gave for the marriage and sacrifice. Because I, I do see a ceremony being stopped. Une cérémonie qui se fait et on arrête la cérémonie parce qu'il y a deux personnes qui sont absentes. Et ces personnes, c'est vous. Et le Seigneur me dit qu'il va ordonner que les choses qui se passent maintenant ne se passent pas sans vous. Il y a des positions, des ouvertures et des grâces que vous allez rater. Mais votre offrande a là. I pray your offering may put something like a magnet. I see a celebration being stopped. Je vois toute une célébration qu'on arrête. Et je me connecte à cette grâce. Je, je me connecte, je me connecte à cette grâce. Je me connecte à cette grâce au nom de Jésus-Christ. Et le Seigneur est en train de me dire, à cause de ces sacrifices, il va vous accorder trois grâces de prière. I'm seeing prayers that you are making and they are being answered very quickly, without process, because of that. Je prie que Dieu vous honore. If together you serve God, together you must experience God. 
If together you are humble before God, together you must be elevated with God. May the anointing that we have sowed in honor you and honor us in Jesus' name. So like I was saying, there are things that they prophesied on your life. And now you're getting tired because you're like, they prophesied on me, but, but I'm losing positions and I'm losing people. That is what grace can do. Amen. But it's only for a season. Help me tell the person behind you, say it's only for a season. Behind you, behind you, behind you, say it's only for a season. Hallelujah. Now David is running away from Saul. And while he's running away from Saul, he goes into a house. Lui voulait être hébergé là-bas. Il pensait que c'était sa refuge. He thought it was a refuge. He went to a friend. And this friend was the king of Gath. Remember, David also was in the ranks of soldiers and generals. So he thought, let me go here. There are times in life where you run, but you run in the wrong direction. You look for help, but you realize the people that I counted on cannot be, they're not even worthy to be called friends anymore. Huh? You run, you, you are sure. But the place you go is the place you were never supposed to go. I don't know if I'm talking to someone who tried to trust somebody, my brother, but the person you trusted is the person who betrayed you. I don't know if I'm talking to someone who tried to confide in someone, but the person you opened up to, they shut you down. Someone say, Adulam. Pentecost is about finding the right refuge. So when he gets there, the king and all these people, they begin to mock David. They say, oh, is this not? C'est pas, c'est pas lui qui était le roi ici. On disait ici que Saül a tué ses mille et David a tué ses dix mille. Mais comment celui qui a tué dix mille a été rabaissé au point de venir chercher refuge chez nous? There are times when the one who killed ten thousand will run away from the one who killed one thousand. It happens. Life is like that. There are times when the one who used to pay school fees for people cannot even buy his own bread. There are times when you who used to help people in their studies, they cannot even help you with one thing. There are times when the David who killed 10,000 will fear the soul who killed 1,000. Dis-moi d'avancer. J'aimerais vous dire la vérité de l'évangile. The truth of the gospel is if a man has not gone through vulnerability, he is not eligible for elevation. Only those that have lost everything can gain everything. The Bible says the kingdom of God is so much so that if a man chooses to keep his life, he will lose it. But if a man accepts to lose his life, for Christ Jesus he will gain it life is made of money it is made of people it is made of position it is made of life of a vision if you lose certain things for Jesus if you lose them you will gain them hallelujah I want you to say thank you Jesus for what I've lost Jesus for what I have lost if you lose your life for Jesus si à cause de ton service dans cette maison si à cause de ta foi tu as perdu un homme une femme, un ami whatever it is you will gain more so David uh, finds himself in front of mockery instead of consolation but he's supposed to run somewhere, Mama. Saul is about to kill him. Le tueur de mille veut tuer un. Le tueur de dix mille ne peut rien faire. And when this king begins to mock him, the Bible says David started acting funny in front of him. Listen to what the Bible says. We are in 1 Samuel chapter 21. The Bible says, David began to let saliva drip up to his beard. Jalusa, did you read it? Papa Gail, if you can put it back up for us. 
He decided to let, you can read it, he decided to let spit. Dro he was drooling like a madman. Neti yuma, neti kizengi. In Swahili we say kiwele wele. Hallelujah. There are times in life when your only survival method is to act like you know nothing when you know everything. Shekarama soplene guy. There are times in life when your only way to survive is to be humble. If you try and show your glory, you get killed. So we find ourselves with members of our family, members at work, members of Congress or whatever, and we act like we have nothing when we have everything. Because it is our own way of survival. Dis avec moi, Dieu préserve moi. Say, God preserve me. So the King David that you know, this is a part of a Bible that many people don't read. The part when David became so stupid, he was drooling in front of a king. La salive a coulé. And the king said, why did you bring me a madman? Take him away. Because if David did not act like a madman, he was going to get killed. So there are times in life, and I'd like to speak to someone, if you want to survive this journey of the crossover, know when you need to act like a madman. Know when you need to keep quiet. Know when you need to pray. Know when you need to fast without showing off. Know when you need to receive money and still act like you are broke. Know when you need to get an elevation but you can't show it to everyone. Why? Survival method. Mais toi, tu reçois seulement 2000 reines. Oui, comme je suis là d'ailleurs. Et yindi awa, to kufi wapi. Hey! Tu reçois seulement 5000 reines. Allô? Yeah, brother, you said that perfume, c'était combien? C'est en vente, il sort des ça. Bon mélange ami balé. Tu tu reçois des choses qui te tuent parce que tu les exposes. You receive things that kill you because you don't know the survival method of a man that is vulnerable. There are times in life when you need to act. He was acting. He was not a madman. Someone says survival. He was acting. The Bible says Jesus would heal a man and tell the man, don't say it's me. Why? Survival method. He knew if you tell them that it's me today, I can die today. Oh, I'm trying to give somebody some wisdom. It is not being a hypocrite, it is being wise. Wisdom will teach you to be humble when you can praise your own self. Yes. Yes. You pray and God gives you an anointing of the prophetic. The first thing you want, ah, prophetess, aujourd'hui je vais diriger la prière. No! Survival method makes you receive the greatest of anointing, but you act like an intercessor. Hello, yes, I call me sister. I say, a pas de problem. I know what is upon me, but I don't need to show it to everybody. If I show it to the wrong person, I can die. Let me give you a secret. Il y a des artistes qui ont enterré leur carrière parce qu'ils ont cherché les producteurs. Hein, je vais choquer quelqu'un. There are artists that buried their own career because they looked for producers too soon. Hein? The first thing, you get one song, you go and change your name on Facebook. Worshipper Nathan Mutum. I had one son who used to say, Adorateur du très haut souverain. And then he put his name. Yo kakombo moulai. You get one inspiration. You go in the studio. Oui, d'ailleurs, moi j'ai aussi un projet là. Si Dieu fait. Dieu fait nini. Say survival. For you to be great, you need to learn the aesthetic of a butterfly. Be 
before the butterfly shows off its wings, it will hide in a cocoon. It will continue to mold itself. It does not come out until it is completely complete. The Bible says, James chapter 1 verse 1 to 3, for patience must become perfect in order for you not to lack in anything and to be perfect. Some people have lost position. Some people were on a suicide mission because they presented themselves too soon. Luke chapter 1 verse 80, the Bible says, and Jesus remained in the desert and grew in the desert until God presented him. Someone say, remain, remain. And as of Pentecost, Jesus says, we are in one, Acts chapter one, verse four. He says, do not go anywhere. Remain in Jerusalem. He said, n'allez nulle part. Je sais que vous êtes mes disciples. Je sais que je suis mort et ressuscité. Je sais que vous avez reçu l'esprit. Je sais que vous avez la popularité. Mais ne partez nulle part. Someone say, Adulam. The discipline to stay will give you the grace to go. Ah, the discipline to remain will give you the favor to go. La Sonegal Naiva Suresh. The Bible says, remain in Jerusalem. Those disciples that did not remain did not receive. The problem with us is we are visitors where we are supposed to be in dwellers. Il y a des endroits où tu ne dois pas être. Tu ne peux pas être un visiteur de la présence de Dieu. Non. Amen. Can I repeat that? You cannot be a guest in the presence of God. You, 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 you cannot. There is an emergency to pray. There is an emergency. La prière, c'est une urgence. You cannot afford to sacrifice your prayer hour for food. You can't. Someone say revival. The revival you're talking about cannot come if you are sacrificing prayer. Sinon, je te promets, tu reviendras ici pour que j'ai pris pour toi. Et tu reviendras pendant 10 ans sans changement. Le réveil nous montre que la prière est une urgence. Alléluia. So now, David understands that he cannot be there, so he pretends. And pretending is a very great aspect of greatness. Kings will pretend just to see if their workers are faithful. Alléluia. Alléluia. There was a time when we used to go to city market for those that know Kinshasa and we befriended somebody uh, who was very humble and there was a day when I, I don't know what happened I think we lost the phone or something happened and our friend was there and our friend began to give orders and we discovered that he was the owner of the place great men know the art to pretend a man who only I was saying a man who wants to show his entire glory will lose it hallelujah now when David saw that he could not stay there the Bible says in chapter 22 verse 1 so David ran to the cave of Adulam say Adulam and this is where I will begin and finish my message. The cave of Adulam. So the cave of Adulam is the alternative that God has when you are betrayed. Quand tu es trahi, l'endroit où il faut aller, c'est dans la cave d'Adulam. The cave of Adulam is the alternative for men whose life is in danger. When you know your life is in danger, best run to the cave of Adulam. The cave of Adulam is that place 
that could do for David what no king could do for him. I pray that you may discover the secret place of God, the type of place that does not betray any man, the place that does not ask for you to pay before you enter and will not ask for you to pay before you leave, the type of place that can do for you what no king, no friend, nobody can do in the kingdom of heaven. Oh, I'm speaking to a spirit, not a man. I speak to spirits in the, in the kingdom of heaven. There are places that can do for you what men cannot do. I pray that you may run after places more than you run after friends. The Bible says, he that dwelleth in the shakupalana, in the secret place, shall abide. It was not a question of having friends. No, no. It was not a question of having a producer. It was not a question of having money. It was a question of a place. Hallelujah. Dans le royaume de Dieu, les endroits peuvent faire pour toi plus que les hommes. Hey, I want to preach. Oh, oh. The Bible says, this man called J Jacob was going somewhere. His brother wanted to kill him. His father could not protect him. His own mother who put him in this trouble could not protect him. But there was a place called Bethel. When he reached the place, the Bible says his eyes began to open. When men cannot open your eyes, the secret, oh, oh, oh. Adulam can open the eyes of a man. Uh, Adulam can open the eyes. Uh, Jerusalem can open your eyes. Jesus says, he didn't say go to a preacher. No, he didn't say find someone. He said, go to a place and stay there. Luke chapter, uh, Acts chapter 1 verse 8. You will receive a power. What men cannot give you. Tap la, tap la, tap la, tap la. Ce qu'un homme ne peut pas te donner, une place peut te donner. Someone say the place of Adulam. He ran away and he went to Adulam. When he gets to Adulam, remember Adulam is not a city. Adulam is not a building. Adulam is not a, a beautiful hotel. Day. Adulam is a cave. In a cave, number one, there is no light. Hallelujah. In a cave, there is no light. Newton or whoever created light was not there. Like electricity. Y'a pas de electricity. A cave is dark. A cave is cold. A cave can be dangerous. A cave is hidden. That's what the Bible didn't say. He that dwelleth in the place of God. No. He that dwelleth in the secret. C'est un endroit que tout le monde ne connaît pas. L'église est connue de tout le monde, mais la place secrète de Dieu n'est pas connue de tout le monde. Je ne suis pas seulement de la race des hommes qui partent à l'église. Je suis la race de ceux-là qui cherchent la place secrète. Church is known by everybody. Mais break is not the secret place. Mais break contains the secret place. I pray that as you come here every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, I'm praying for one soul. God, hear my prayer. When these people come in this place, may they meet the secret place. May they enter into the place that is hidden in this place. The secret place is not a place that everybody will see. La prière est urgente. The secret place is urgent. While you are chilling with everybody, there are demons, there are kings, politicians that go in their own secret place to discuss how they can destroy you and you don't know it. The only way you can have what they will not give you is to go in the secret place. Toi tu penses qu'un homme est né et va seulement souhaiter que tu prospères en essence ni. Mama, do you really think that an occult man will fight for you to buy a house? Do you really think so? If even your own family members sometimes 
They can eat chips in their room when they know you didn't eat. So I expose you. I love you still. I love you still. Hey Florence, why are you looking at? If even your best friend can tell you they have no money when their bank account has something, do you really think there is someone that's going to fight for you to prosper? Say the secret place. There is a place that fights for men who have no intercessors. There is a place that will make it its business that you will prosper. It is ordained in heaven par le royaume des cieux in our kingdom that if you dwell in that place, that place becomes your advocate. Jesus says, I go to prepare a place. So David found the cave of Adullam, a hidden place. But what does the Bible says? Number one, I would like to give some small points and then I'm done. First thing the Bible says, David takes his, uh, uh, he goes there and people hear about it. Number one, the Bible says his family, his brothers, his sister, his biological father. I'm talking about Isaiah or Jesse, if you want. And his wife, I don't, I forgot David's mom's name. They both go to David in the cave of Adullam. Let me tell you something. In the making of a king, there are supporters you must refuse. Je vais te dire quelque chose de très compliqué. Quand Dieu est en train de forger un roi dans l'usine de la royauté, il y a des amis, des supporters, des gens qu'il faut éloigner pour que tu grandisses. If you take every support that is available, you don't grow. I once said, if you know that people will always treat you with favor, it is your responsibility to be hard on yourself. Can I give you an example? There are people who are so elevated. They have money. Whatever they say goes. If I say, let's go and rob a bank. Yes, prophetess, I, I receive. <laughs> if I say, let's not pray. I receive, mama. Whatever you say, we'll do. When you have such people, men of God, it is your responsibility to be hard on yourself. Because ain't nobody going to tell you the truth. Hello. Hello. When you know you have friends that will never take care of your prayer life, it's now your responsibility, Nadia, to pray. If you are counting on your partners and your friends, you will never pray. Today we have people that are failing in life because they keep the wrong supporters in their team. Avant que les hommes t'acclament, rassure-toi que le ciel t'a acclamé. Before men celebrate you, be sure that heaven has celebrated you. The Bible says David ran to the cave of Adullam and supporters began to come. Among these supporters, his dad and mom came. But David knew, I am in a situation where God wants to make me a father of many. <laughs> I cannot have my father around me. He will treat me like a child, but God is trying to treat me like an eagle. I have to find a place to put this man. Someone say, Adulam. Adulam is not a place where God gives you sweets. It is a place where God will give you bitter leaf. Kinin. He will give you what would cause you to grow. Hallelujah. When God said dwell in Jerusalem, that was one of the scariest things. You know why? Because everybody would know where they are. People are trying to kill the disciples here. Now you're sending us all to one place. 
when the law of economics says do not put all your eggs in one basket so at least if they kill the disciples of Jerusalem the disciples of Judea are safe but no 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 Jesus says all of you in one place the law of God is not the law of men the aesthetics of God is not the aesthetics of men the wisdom of God is not the wisdom of men in the cave of Adulam it can be dangerous but you are under the protection of God my prayer for you is that you may understand there are seasons where the only place you can run to will require for you to separate let me explain please don't get me wrong on ne te dit pas de t'éloigner de la famille contre la famille on dit éloigne toi de pour eux Oh, I want to say it again. You are not separating from your mom, your dad, your cousins because they are bad. No, you are separating from them to become something for them. Hey, there was a time when my mom couldn't reach me. <laughs> There was a time when my sister couldn't understand me. There was there was a time when my dad could not and he didn't he couldn't get what type of human are you? There was a time when they cook for me. The food is here but I just, I can't eat. I'm I'm sorry. It's not that I hate your food but I love you more. I need to pray. I need to become a blessing for you. In the cave of Adulam if you have people that take care of you. You will lose the point. You're supposed to count on God alone. That is why there are seasons in your life when you lose people who used to give you money. Now you're the S. Eh, one of more tons of me for penirie. No, you are in a cave of Adulam, a place where your parents are not allowed to be there with you because they will provide they are not to be gyre for you god is gyre dis-moi d'avancer you wonder why god told abraham to take isaac and leave everybody just imagine if sarah was there abraham abraham wanyo ligopo melanga mwana na bote la kio can you imagine sarah sarah would maybe kill abraham je te dis Abraham would die because Sarah would defend Isaac but Sarah was not called to be the defender we have one called Elohe Sabaoth he was supposed to come through for Isaac dis-moi d'avancer convainc-moi tu le fais très mal merci 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 someone say adulam so the bible says David went to Moab another king And he told the king he said please can you keep my father and my mother here that i may go and seek the face of god we underlined it until i know what god will do for me hallelujah there are times when until you have prayed you are paralyzed Prayer is an emergency. Whatever you begin to do in the absence of prayer will begin to shame you. Prayer is an emergency. Even the business that was called to bless you men of God, that business will put you into more debt than you imagined. Why? You did not pray. David said, "I want to take care of my parents, but before, I need to know. I, I need to ask God what he will do." for me someone say prayer is an emergency c'est une urgence we cannot do events we cannot call revival we cannot get married we cannot try have kids we cannot try and travel nothing without adula you fail because you despise the place of prayer because you have supporters you have people that will still buy you mcdonald's even when you don't pray You have people that still say you are handsome. People that still say you are beautiful. You still have people you can chat with. You still have people you can go chill with. They will come and drop you. They'll come and pick you up. Ah? Huh? You still have people that praise you. Ah, mon konzi prêtre, osa no pe prêtre très très souverain, osa prêtre très. On a la tête. Lucas. I'm telling you people that will praise you even when you have nothing. And so David if he had considered his supporters he would not value Adulam. So he took his supporters 
and he put them somewhere. And he said, I need to inquire of the men that will not support me to flatter me. He supports me when I am right. He rebukes me when I am wrong. I love the Lord. When I am wrong, the Lord does not celebrate me. He will pull my ears in secrets. I love the Lord. The Lord is the truth. He is not the flattery. Men will flatter me for what I am. God will tell me who I am. Look for Adullah. The disciples could not go out if they had not stayed in. Pentecost is about staying somewhere before being released. I want to finish my message. Can I? Can I finish? Another thing you realize, the Bible says, people who came to David were number one, people that were in debt. Number two, people that had problems. Number three, people that were unhappy. Je vais t'expliquer ça. Explain this to you. David is leaving Saul. King Saul is still a king, so he's going to put some order. So people who have debt, they know that if we stay here, we have to do what? We have to pay. These were not loyal men. They were hiding for their own interest. <laughs> C'était des gens qui avaient la dette, mais qui mis ce qu'on va foutre à te? These were people that were poor. The, the Bible says poor men and men who had problems. There's a time in your life when the people you see around you, but they can't help you much. Huh? You can't tell them, but yourself, you know, these are burdens around me. Now, if you do not see God in Adulam, you cannot lead these men to greatness. Il y a des moments Dieu va te donner des graines pour que tu aies une forêt. Yes, he will give you seeds, but he's planning on giving you a, an entire forest. But for you to take those men and make them noble men, you need to seek the face of God. The disciples did not have much. They had a few people here and there. Amen. I want us to read it. We're going to finish Acts chapter 1, verse 8. And nine, and this is where we finish my message. Le commande de la story upon a kevesh. You are holy to saki pochekit. Holy to Lord. Can someone read for me? So get a little shakata most day, God. For your name is holy. Your name is holy. Dear Lord, can I be quick, please? Acts chapter 1, verse 8. I read in the name of Jesus. Amen. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Mm -hmm. Now, when he had spoken these things, while they watched, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of the sight. Continue. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, and as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Can we take the last two verses of this chapter? For who also said, men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus who was taken up, up from you into will heaven so will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Come on. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey. And when they had entered, they went up into the upper room where they were staying. Can you read with me? The names. Number one, let's go. Peter, Peter James, James, John, and Andrew, Philip, Philip. and Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, mm -hmm. James, the son of Alphaeus, mm -hmm. and Simon the Zealot, and Judas, the son of James. Continue. These all continue with one accord in prayer and supplication with the woman and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. Amen. Amen. These were the people that God chose as an army. 
the disciples. All the disciples who ran and abandoned Jesus. You can call them unfaithful. You can call them scared. You can call them intimidated. You can call them. This was the army that God chose. And he added to them the women. Now, I want you to understand that in that time, women were not what women are today. Amen. Women were very low in society. Some were even likened like animals. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And at the same time, then Mary, the mother of Jesus, what a big liability. You are the one who brought onto this earth the one that is now a problem to everyone. She was also there. And the brothers of Jesus. But this is the army that you just read. This is the army that has birthed what you see in the world today.